Let's solve the following system of linear inequalities. We'll begin by considering the first inequation. We have 2 times x minus 6 less than 3x minus 7. And let's multiply 2 to x minus 6. So we have 2x minus 12 less than 3x minus 7. So we'll transpose 12 to the right hand side. So we have 2x less than 3x minus 7 plus 12. So that gives us 2x less than 3x plus 5. Then we'll transpose 3x to the left hand side to get 2x minus 3x less than 5. 2x minus 3x will be negative x less than 5. Now we want to make the coefficient of x positive. All we have to do is multiply both sides with negative 1. But in doing so, the sign of the inequality is going to change. So that means we'll have x greater than negative 5. So here we have made use of the fact that if we have two numbers a and b and let's say a is less than b and we have another number c and c is a negative number that's less than c then if we multiply a with c and b with c the c being a negative number then the sign of the inequality changes that means ac will become greater than bc so this is the property that we have used to get x greater than negative 5. so let's label this as number one now we'll go to the second inequality. So here we have 11 minus 2x less than 6 minus x. So we'll transpose 11 to the right hand side to get negative 2x less than 6 minus x minus 11, which gives us negative 2x less than negative x. So 6 minus 11 will be negative 5. Now we'll transpose negative x to the left hand side to get x minus 2x less than negative 5. So x minus 2x will be negative x. So this is less than negative 5. So we have negative x less than negative 5. We'll make use of this property. Multiply both sides with negative 1 to get x greater than positive 5. So let this be number 2. Now we have to find a solution that is going to be common to both 1 and 2. For that, we will consider a number line. On the number line, we have x equals to negative 5 and x equals to positive 5. From the first linear inequality, from the first solution, we have x greater than negative 5. So we'll consider all the values of x that is greater than negative 5. That means lying to the right of x equals to negative 5. So here I have used the bubble, which means that it's not included x equals to negative 5. And this extends all the way up to positive infinity. Then from the second solution, we have x greater than 5. So we will consider all the values of x, which is greater than 5. And it lies to the right of x equals to 5. Here also, 5 is not a part of the solution, so I've used a bubble. Now, all we need to do is find a region which is common to both the two. So this is the region which is common to both of the two solutions. And if we write it in the interval form, we have 5 to infinity. The infinity, by definition, is unbounded, so we use an open interval. 5 is not a part of the solution, so we'll use an open interval. So from 5 to infinity... This is going to be the solution set to the given system of linear inequation.